First and foremost, guys, amazing job on this film. I felt like I had went to school for Mary Curie in a great way because this is this is a uh, this is a great film. Now, um, Roseman, I love the way that she is portrayed in this film um, because she feels very real. You know, she feels like she's not always presented as perfect or the nicest person. Uh, why was it important to give her that kind of character depth? Well, because, you know, I'm sick and tired of all the, you know, the, the leeway and the rope that's given to all these genius men to be difficult and obstreperous and slightly rude and, you know, arrogant. And, 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 and it's always, they're always forgiven because they're a genius. And then you, you try and present a genius woman and suddenly, you know, she's not allowed to be any of those things. And I was determined to, 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 to put a genius woman and try and let us, let an audience afford her the same, the same freedoms that they give a man, you know, that, and, and say, well, of course she's like that because she was a genius. So yeah, she's argumentative and difficult. And, and I happen to find it charming, but- you know, I do too. Um, okay. did I. <laughs> now, Sam, um, when portraying Pierre, uh, I feel like he really brings out the humanity and, and Marie and, um, and they're truly partners, whether it be in their, in their life or even in their discoveries. Can you tell me um, what you were excited to explore in Pierre? Well, I was excited by uh, the whole constellation of it. I wanted to work with Marjan because I'd met her several years ago. always wanted to work with Rosamond. And I realized I didn't know very much about them. Um, and I was more and more intrigued and, and I admired them so much while I was doing it. And when we did our, uh, our audition together, I, as I really loved how Rosamond was playing it. I, I loved this, this awkwardness. I found it. I found it charming and I admired his, you know, he was, he, he wasn't, he was never threatened by her brilliance. You no, know, he, he saw it as a, that they would only, that he would only benefit from it. And together, you know, with physics and chemistry together. And, and uh, I can, I can relate to that somehow. I think I, I've always been rather fascinated by fascinating people and people who might know more than me. I'm not, a, I'm not, that insecure that I don't, I'm not afraid to be with people that are more brilliant or more intelligent. I'm, I, I only benefit from that. <laughs> now in uh, some ways, the Curie's relationship was ahead of its time. Uh, can you talk to me about the relationship? Uh, because um, I feel like it's very modern between the two of them. Yeah, it's, it's refreshing. In fact, it's one of the most modern or sort of equal marriages I've ever depicted on screen, you know, because and I think Sam, well, you said something brilliant earlier that they sort of, you know, it wasn't, they weren't woke, you know, it wasn't like they were trying to be, you know, a great couple. They just, that's just how they lived. And they saw fairness, I suppose, fairness, yeah. inequality and partnership. Um, and they were interested in the same things. And I think they, I mean, they, they, they did love each other very deeply. I mean, w w after he died, she, she kept a journal of her grief. I mean, it's one of the most, you know, if you ever doubted that Marie Curie loved, then you should read this thing because she, it's the most beautiful expression of, of the detail in which one person can love another, I think. Well, I love the way you guys portrayed these roles and this film is beautiful. It's shot beautifully, beautifully. amazing job. I want to thank you guys so much for your time. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. 